tackle from Pocock there on Barra. Pocock bounces out of it. Pocock, you freak! How good is he? How good is David Pocock? And Slipper comes out the back with it away to Pocock. Bounces out of it. Pocock, you freak! Try number four. Have a look at Pocock, he just took on two blokes. He said thanks very much, they opened the door. Oh, it's just too easy, isn't it, really? Pocock just dropped off the back of the line out. Burgess came around, linked up with him, but really just ran into one or two, and the Russians are going to have to shore things up very rapidly, or they're going to have a very torrid afternoon. And this is too easy. Can he go all the way? He can't, he has to set. Now it's picked up by the captain, Horwell. He's caught short. And the ball knocked on at the back of the Morton of the ruck, not called. And this could be a second try for David Pocock. Number five for the Wallabies. Rush have missed 10 tackles so far in the first 21 minutes. They've had no ball, they've had to defend their line throughout this match. And now it's taken its toll. Pocock. And runs into a big hole. David Pocock. The teams walk out into the early evening sunshine in Wellington. Great rivals. This could be something quite sensational. McCabe makes another tackle. Five minutes, five minutes. Well, he's got him there, got hands on as David Pocock. Staines hovering again. Dupria, Hookart looking for that narrow channel. Challenged by Matfield, but Australia's got it, and Pocock bashes into Brousseau, 1-0, Pocock. Well, they've got it in. Can they get it out? McCalman, they've got it. And the Ducks, and the Wallabies win! James O'Connor's penalty has put Australia into the semi-finals. South Africa's reign as champions of the World Cup is over. A challenge for these fierce rivals from opposite sides of the Tasman Sea. Massive crowd at Eden Park to bring them. Jerome Kano feels a kick barreled by David Pocock. Now they go to Corey Jane, slips a nice ball away to Cruden, close to the touchline. But he's kept it in play well, although the Wallabies might have stolen this. Pocock on the ground, brilliantly done. And Cooper has to double back. Nothing he can do here. Into touch, it's all over. The All Blacks are into the World Cup final. This is Pocock. Straight through Robert Bolabu. You can see the shoulder down here, just Bob's loving Bolabu. Great, great carry. Pocock again and Hooper. Those guys are so effective. Straight back in their feet. Mike Brown. Pocock in there again. Oh, it's masterful. No. Pocock is arguably the best in the world at timing to contest the ruck. He is so quick on the ball. Here we go then. The Empire strikes back at the home of English Rugby. Tukalev is smashed! To La Puente. Filthy Beal there to wrap him up. So is Pocock with one last steal. Pocock, I think, has got it. And that should be the end of the match. It's the Wallabies and the All Blacks in Rugby World Cup 2015. Adam Ashley Cooper with a stupendous three-try performance. And what about uh, the performance of David Pocock? He scaled Mount Kilimanjaro in 2008. Now it's Mount Everest next week. One of the great rivalries of world sport is about to be played out again.
but for the first time in the ultimate match the World Cup final Smith has got Sabu on the outside and Pocock and oh, group out there together it's the Pocock show isn't it <laughs> who's the one that's covering last ditch it is 10 minutes for Australia to work with here next up Israel and Pocock to start that Simbin period. Brilliant work from Australia. They had to score there. Pocock very strong at the back of the ball. They withstood the pressure from the All Blacks. Sonny Bill Williams still looking to play. The All Blacks still the kings of World Rugby. Pocock reads it this time round and crunches Lamani at the front. Liam Williams hanging on to his bootlaces. David Pocock to Dane Hayman Petty. Try awarded by Roman Poit. Pocock goes through, frees a hand. Hayman Petty runs a wonderful support line and dives over. 